Hey everyone, I hope we're all doing well. So some of you asked me to come up with a study plan for this new version of the OSCP exam for 2022 and I took a little bit of time to think about that and I actually came up with a plan, so let me show you. First of all, Offensive Security published a blog post on what we should expect from this new exam experience. And so they asked three people to go through the new exam and they gave us a list of the main takeaways they got from that experience. And they are telling us that we shouldn't worry about the standalone machines, at least not anymore that we might have for the previous version of the exam. And since the buffer overflow might still be there, giving you only 10 points, Obviously, the biggest changes are about the Active Directory part and they claim that everything you need to know about Active Directory, including enumeration, exploitation and post-exploitation, is covered in their course materials and labs. So after reading that, I realized that they are trying to prove that we should focus on their course materials, and that there's value on their course. Because if you think about it, they are not just selling you an exam voucher, they actually insist in including their course in the whole package. So what would be the point in selling a course that wouldn't necessarily help you in passing an exam? And yeah, there's no point in that. And that's why I'm willing to believe what they are saying now. However, I still believe that you should be able to choose whatever study resources you like the most and whatever works best for you. So having that in mind, let me show you my new OSCP study plan for 2022. So when it comes to theory, I'm actually not changing anything. I'm still going to use the pen to 100 course materials, especially for the Active Directory part. Then I'll use the Cyber Mentor's new Buffer Overflow series for 2022, and also his courses on Privilege Escalation, both for Linux and Windows. Now, when it comes to the practical part, that's where the changes begin to appear. Now I'll be focusing a lot on Offensive Security's official materials, such as their official labs and course exercises, also the TJ Knowles list for the Proving Grounds OSCP-like machines, and finally I'll still use TriHackMe's Buffer Overflow room to make sure I grab those 10 points. Now I'm not saying that's all I'm going to do, because after doing all of that, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of topics in which I'll need to step up my game. But by then, I'm pretty sure I'll figure out what to do. But for now, I think that this might be a good plan. And that's pretty much it. If you'd like to study with me or trade some tips, I created a Discord server for everyone who wants to join the community. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below. So feel free to join in. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe because it's free and you can always change your mind. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!